Hello. Everyone has told me that you know a lot about survival analysis. We have a submission to make to NICE for Super Gym Master and I need to fit a survival model because there is limited follow-up in the trial. I've fitted a Weebull model because everyone else seems to fit a Weebull. But someone said I should check with you because apparently a Weebull isn't always the best model to use. But the Weebull looks okay to me. What do you think? Is it okay to fit the Weebull? Well, that depends on a lot of things. I've plotted the Weebull on a graph and it looks like it fits the Kaplan-Meier curve quite well. And really we haven't got much time and everyone else seems to fit the Weebull. So I think it must be okay. Well, the choice of model depends on a lot of things. The Weebull might not be the most appropriate. You should try some other models too. There is the exponential model, the Gompertz model, the log logistic model, the log normal model and the generalized gamma model. But what about the Weebull? I know how to fit the Weebull. Is it okay to fit the Weebull? It would be very much appreciated if you would tell me that it's okay to fit the Weebull. Well it might be, but you need to consider how well all the other models fit too. You can compare how well they fit by looking at the log cumulative hazard plot and the AIC and VIC test results. But it's not only the fit to the observed data that matters, it's also the clinical plausibility of the extrapolated portion of the curve. Have you got any external data from any other clinical trials or from a registry? You might even find that none of the standard models work very well, so it might be best to think about a piecewise model, or a more flexible splint-based model. I think I might stick with the Weebull. Hello again. We have had lots of questions back from the assessment group about the survival model we used for Super Gemastar. We fitted a Weebull, but apparently we should have tried some other models too. Oh dear. Apparently they weren't convinced it fitted the data very well and the extrapolated portion of the curve wasn't very plausible. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you help me do the analysis again?